Hey guys! Welcome to my very first playthrough of Amnesia The Dark Descent. I'm so excited for this game. I've never played it before. Um, and I love, love, love horror. It's my thing. And so I'm really excited to uh, get started and play this for you guys. Yay! That's my screen ah! face. I'm prepped. <laughs> okay, excellent. I, that was perfect. Normal or hard mode? Normal. Normal. Yeah. It's the way the game was designed to be played. Okay, yeah. Well then, that's how we're gonna do it. I've never played hard mode. Yeah, I'm intrigued as to what hard mode would be. Yeah, me too. Are you ready for this? I think I'm ready for this. I don't know if you're ready for this. <gasps> I'm so ready. Oh my goodness. Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am... Daniel. Something tells me he's gonna forget. His name is I am Daniel. <laughs> Excellent. I've also never played this at 1080p because I never forced myself to figure out how to fix that until we were recording it. Excellent. A memento has been added to the journal. For quick access to your mementos, press M. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Oh, a memento. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Okay. Can I... Oh! Oh. oh! When grabbing an object, press right mouse to throw it. Hold down R and move the mouse thumbstick to rotate the object. Excellent. So how do I throw it? Um... Is it left trigger or left bumper? Ah! Oh! Crashed. You're so helpful. Oh, look! Oh. No tinder boxes. Excellent. Okay, but I, I realized I can do this. That's mm -hmm. creepy. Goodness. Oh, a door. Press right. Hmm. Ah, oh, <gasps> a candle. Something tells me that'll come in handy. Oh, is that a tinderbox? Is that what a tinderbox is? Yes! Shazam. Excellent. Can I pick up this candle, though? Something tells me I need it. No, it does not appear so. Okay. Am I able to run? Okay, I'm running. This is running. No. Oh, okay. Big scary room. 
Is that... <laughs> are those people? Or, okay, that's a... Whoa! What is happening? What just happened? What just happened? Why did that happen? You're freaking out. Yeah, I am. Oh my goodness, and I'm wobbly? Oh, this is... This is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It just it the screen changed and it scared me. Excuse me. Do you open? No? Can't just let me out? All right. That's fine. That's okay. This is fine. Oh my goodness. Look at that shirt. And the tinder box. I need you. I got you. I hear breathing. Does anyone else hear breathing? Okay, it's fine. Nice cozy fire. Oh, I'm so strong. I'm gonna just take this with me. <laughs> just prepared to throw it at anything. Exactly. If I can remember it. That shirt just scared me. <laughs> no! You are my favorite part of scary movies. That's um, gonna happen. And so I something tells me you're gonna be my favorite part of scary games. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> you're gonna make me scream. Mm hmm. Oh. What you gonna do now? Well. Oh my goodness. Is that you or? Oh. What. The heck. Did you hear that? Why am I shaking? Use a peeky peek. Use a peeky peek. I'm trying. Look, <laughs> I'm peeking. Look, my head's a bit <laughs> leaning over. I'm trying to lean over. I can't. It won't let me for some reason. Bro, your breathing is scaring me. If I don't... No! Why am I crawling now? What just happened? Why was I down on the ground? Okay, everything's all wobbly. And I can't lean left. <laughs> If I don't look, it won't scare me. <sighs> hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna look 
the liquid trail. I thought it said oil trail, and I was so confused because I was like, hey, this looks like blood. But yeah, it appears that it is. What is happening? <gasps> oh! No, wrong button. How do I go down? Okay. Got this chair. No, that's stupid. That's stupid. Go knock the chair over. What? Okay, that door just opened itself. Is this a place I can go down? Nope. I don't want to go down there. Oh my goodness. Wait, you haven't gone in there, right? No. <laughs> That's the door that opened itself. Of course I haven't. Oh. Oh, don't Yikes. hit yourself in that. It's just like real life. Oh, look, Shirts. The shirt. I can hide in here. <gasps> oh. You can escape to Narnia. Oh my goodness, I can hide. Look at that. Pro That's hide cool. Mode. But that was even scarier opening it back up. Mm-hmm. Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinderboxes or search for other sources of light. Okay. But what? What? Okay. Wait, no, how do I... Okay. Okay. This is fine. I'm good. Oh, man. This is making me dizzy, guys. What is up with this? Paintings. <gasps> Paintings. Look at me. That was that was so brave of me. Your heart just beeped. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this, the young boy thought, and stuck, struck his victim with a rock. That's awful. Yeah. Not cool. Hey, can I, can I have you? Can I, can I have you? <sighs> Not cool. I can't lean to the left. Books? Books and stuff. Why can't I, like, keep you? Something tells me I want to read you. I can't read that. Manzalak Ruptanak. 
Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Okay. Uh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well. Uh. No? Here, let me, let me stand in this here light, right? That's helpful, yeah? I think so, yeah. Calm down, bro. Is that what is happening? What's happening? Ah! Oh, hey, I need you. I think you look like a light. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is great. I'm gonna throw you. <laughs> throw the book at it. Yeah. What's in this? Excellent. Look at that. I feel so much better about life right now. I got a light. that away. Nope. What's this door? Oh my goodness. I don't like doors that open toward me. What, that you have to actually kind of like physically do it, or? No, 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 that I, I, oh! Oh, the ones that open without anything happening. Why am I shaking? What is going on? No, the ones that I have to pull toward me instead of push open. Because mm. pushing, I can see it. Pulling towards yeah. me, though. <sighs> I don't notice if something is on the other side until it's too late. Okay. No! What? You done ran out? I need to I need to grab a piece of wood. Yeah, grab some to uh throw at things. You know. Just grab Super it. Super hot piece of wood. I can grab a box. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm working up the courage. Okay, I can do this. Okay, it like redirected me to this spot. I'm assuming for a reason. <gasps> Oil. Wonderful. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. What? He will be no match for you. One last thing. 
A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. So I have to kill an old guy? I don't want to kill anybody. Are you tinderboxes? No. What? What was that? I need to find an oil potion. Okay, how do I get to my inventory again? Um. Aha. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna turn you off. Cause, well, I need to see. <gasps> What's this? Well. Tongues at something. I'm a stab things. Okay, light. You still, you still have the tongues. Yes, yes, I do. Light is good. Okay, okay. I'm running. And this is fine. Oh my goodness, the tongue scared me. Oh. That's what the bottle did to me earlier. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. No, I'm getting rid of them because they keep scaring me. They keep like reflecting the light. <laughs> did you jump at me turning on my uh -huh. lantern? Oh my gosh. What is happening? What is happening? Hey. This is unsettling. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, I just, I need a bag. Okay. Oh. Oh, is that where you came from? I think so. Yes. Oh my goodness. Do I have to go down here? Okay, we can do this, man. We can do this. As long as our light does not go out. That was oh. the sound of a light going out. Yeah. I figured that. Hmm. Can I get up that way? Oh no, it's it's a floor. This is so eerie. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna go in the light. It's all good. Just calm down. Maybe it's back here where I, uh. Oh! Oh, scared. I found the note to myself from myself. No! Okay. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay. Um, nope. That's not a thing. Okay, this, this light seems to be working fine for me. Like just standing in the candlelight. I truly have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Now that, especially I, I, that I don't have my lantern. This is terrible. This is not good. 12 hours later. Something like that. See, a lamp would have come in handy. I would not have needed your help. Mm -hmm. but also, you, you weren't any help. Also, I wasn't any help. <laughs> but also, your oil ran out the second you walked in here. Yeah. Yeah, man. See, I could have... This might be a game also where trying to conserve all your fire lighting things and never lighting anything on fire. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. What is with these stories? Okay. You were saying conserve my oil? No, I was saying your tendency to want to conserve all your tender boxes and never light anything might make things harder for you. Oh. Oh my goodness. What has happened here? Things that done fall down. I have a feeling there's nothing good in here. It's all scary. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Wonderful. I don't like that that guy's voice. Ominous. He sounds real evil. <clears throat> also, uh... On the refinery. Also, isn't his last name Brennenberg? Or he's like Alex the Brennenberg? Yeah. And he said, and he just said that it lies beneath Brennenberg or whatever. Oh, oh! What? <laughs> the heck? Looks like I have a note. Wrong button. Nope. It's a diary? Diary, yeah. No? No? Memento. Memento? Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to refinery. Can it be dissolved? Eh. It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Ah! It looks nasty! Nasty. There's a puppy somewhere. What? Didn't, wasn't that just like a dog noise? I didn't hear that. I, th I heard like wind. Oh. I don't know. Ooh, what's this door? Or where does... What is... What is this? I need more oil. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the con at the consulate in Constantinople. Oh my goodness, I just couldn't say that. Istanbul. Constantinople. Istanbul. This is 
It seems like a happy place. Did you say this doesn't seem like a happy place? I said this seems like a happy place. Oh! Good! That's not terrifying. Or anything. Guys, what is happening? What has happened? That wasn't good, I don't think. I don't think that was good. <gasps> what? Oh, hey! <gasps> oh, hey! Yes. I shall not waste don't you. Don't blow it all in one place. <laughs> now, though. Oh, my goodness. Keep pushing the wrong. What? Okay. Got that light juice. Got that light juice. Okay, I couldn't. I can't help it. Mm -hmm. What? 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 The other thing is, maybe something that you don't know is if you light something with your tinderbox, that will always be lit. What? Who said that? not sound like a fun place. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Was there a sign that tells you like where you're at? Yeah, uh, the door when I came in here said laboratory. Laboratory. <gasps> oh, a thing! Uh, chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be uh, difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh! Chemicals. Oh, good. Yes. Excellent. Whoa! No. I'm in the light. Why am I shaking? <gasps> Oil. Yes. Yes. Should be more coop rats. Let me see in fear. And one part aqua fortis. Aqua fortis and what else? Cubrium? Cubrite? Cubrite. Cubrite. What? The heck? What? Did you not hear those footsteps? Okay. No. Here, let me throw this at you. I don't know why that scared me. But <laughs> that's terrifying. <sighs> oh, a chemistry pot. That sounds sciencey. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vit 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 vitae. <laughs> wow. Wow. The former <laughs> compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment, yeah, orpiment, are a given, and the cuprite, you're right, uh, binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope. It will produce a more even solution, but it did say aqua fortis. So was what we just heard after I wrote this note, or after someone wrote this note? Hmm. Yeah. Who wrote this note? Also. Uh. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly oh, okay. Yeah. Now, 
continuing. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Hmm. What predicament? Interesting. Interesting on many accounts there. Why am I shaking? Stop! What? I'm just, you know, just breathing. Just breathing. What is happening? Why am I so shaky? Okay, yep. Let's get up on out of here. The chemistry potholes. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Oh my goodness, I can't feel my arms. They went numb. The wine cellar. Why not? Ah, I need more of that. Yeah. Okay. Public laughter. That's not creepy. Look laughter? Yeah, look at the laughter sounds with your ear holes. So was that a scream? Oh, no. Upstairs? I don't know. I mean, yeah. Find the key for the wine cellar. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Chemical and ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. The laboratory. I can't help it, you know. I Dexter's lab. I love it. Maybe that's whose lab this was. Oh my goodness, I hope not. Okay. That's where I came from, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that down there is blocked by some bloody stuff. What are you? Boards. Boarded. Did you hear that? Mm hmm. The archives. Is that a dog? Is that what you heard earlier? Yeah, that is what I heard earlier. Oh, what's downstairs? I need to know. Oh, hey, what? Oh. <gasps> nice. Nice eye. Okay. That's not how you go through doors. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Oh, excellent. Libri rari. Rari? Yeah. Rare books. Do you hear that? Yeah. It's like someone humming. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. 
How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. I didn't like the way you ended that uh, sentence, bro. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yes. Surprise. I can look through drawers. Give me some oil. Guys, come on. Help a girl out. And now you know how to sift through drawers. this all is good it's health I have a sanity. headache okay Oh, good. You know, it's, it's daylight outside, so that's we're good. Great, that's great news. Why is it so dark in here? Evil. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hello? Somebody destroyed all these books. Oh, I just kidding. They're fine. Any oil in here? Oh, a thing. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. Hmm. I'm sure that turned out well. What? I'm just saying that when I'm sure that turned out well. What is it? What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. 
At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. And you're gonna leave me hanging? Man. That was two of three. Yeah, I know, but you know, I just, I want the whole story. Aha! Look at that. Okay. Do I want to venture forth? How much oil do I have? Uh, I'm doing okay, I guess. Yeah, that door. Oh! <sighs> that face just breathed. Like a dying gasp. Did I go in here? No, I didn't. Libre venteres. What does that mean? Old tomes. Oh! oh. What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh! You just throw it up in the air above your head? Yeah, I thought I could open it. Oh. Oh, man. I thought it was going to be a chest full of goodies. No. Oh. Just in time. Well, I assume there is, since you say that. Oh. Guys? Uh. What? It's just some creepy stuff. What? I heard this is creepy. Did I miss something? What? Ugh. Yeah. What the heck in heck was that? I don't know, but that window just scared me. I think it was my my lantern coming on. that was just playing huh wonderful how spectacular pretty spectacular oh my goodness aha death by paper paper cut What? <gasps> what is that?
Oh, hey. Oh. Wait, what just happened? I think your lantern went out right when you were trying to read that. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Um... <sighs> it was ah! waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Oh man, I need that. Don't I? Oh! Oh, I forgot I found another one. Okay. Who is playing the piano? Some piano jerk. Yeah, that's what I think of your piano in this dark and creepy time. you an egg in this dark and creepy time. Okay, I haven't been in here. You are freaking me out. Who, me? Yes! Why? Because you keep, like, shaking and stuff. Oh, this is creepy. That's all. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Oh, I thought that was someone sitting in the pee. At the pee. Hey! What? I guess that's what that noise was. <sighs> Can I climb up here? Hey guys, let me out! Okay. Worth a shot. Yeah.
I'm just so very confused yet again. Oh, hey, what is this? Ha! Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, I can't see now. Wrote some of that paper. Yeah. Give it a paper cut. I got this. Oh! Okay, I don't know why that scared me, but it did. It's fine. Oh. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful. Oh, then. no. Looks like it moves. Hey, there's some oil. Ha! Weak glass. Weak. Local folklore. Allstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region, another region rich with lore is Allstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. Oh, we're in Prussia. Yeah? I think so, yeah. The quiet, forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as a exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the, the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Hey. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa... The well-known erudite, 
uh, visited Allstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. What? He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Allstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Good question. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg, which is Alex. Right? Alexander? Is that what his name is? It seems to be. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstadt, and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Uh, Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. The Black Eagle. That Wilhelm guy <clears throat> wants to be a part yeah. of the Black Eagle group or something, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, hey, a door. Excellent. Also, there is something back here. So he did say something about the ticking. They have to be done at the same time, yeah? They're at the same time, or like we have to have them all going at the same time, something like that. Oh, hey, another. What? Oh. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm, oh hey, that's the one guy who wrote that note, and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Cool. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. 
The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, it can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be, it would in sense, it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Mm -hmm. Well, now I don't want to open that cellar door, that wine cellar. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, was that the end of the oil? Yes. Uh -oh. Wait, what? What? This door is open now? Let's come chill here in the light. Did I go in this room yet? Yes. It was it was back over this way, right? That I came from? I think so. Yeah. Oh, just let me outside. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, what is happening? Have I opened these yet? No. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 I don't remember how to get back down to the cellar. Wasn't that open before? Is that just in here? I think so. <sighs> the stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. Hey!
just happened? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Well. All right. The wine cellar. I think I'm gonna just chill here for a second. Yeah. Alright. That wine cellar can wait. 